Hello, welcome back to our channel and this is Days of April. For today, I will be having the first module that I will be releasing for our students, not only in public, but this is open to all public and private students who wanted and needed as well this topic just in case but that by august you just need it so i'm here to present to you my first output from our webinar with the help of sir mark c and deped tech unit department of region 11 we are so thankful for every one of them so, pagpasensya niyo na po kasi po English po yung medium of instruction. But uh, if you will request na may Tagalog, okay, gagawin ko rin pong Tagalog sa susunod kong video. So, allow me to share my screen. And allow me as well to have this. Okay, and let's start. Hi there. Welcome to our class. Science, Grade 7, Module 1. Okay. Lang ha, kasi medyo ano siya. Pagpasensya niyo na muna. So, balik muna tayo dito. Okay, so, tignan muna natin ang video natin kung ready na. At, live stream na tayo. Okay, so ready na? And share screen na tayo. Okay, so this is our share screen and I'll share it to you. I hope you would like it and this is module one. Hi there, welcome to our class. Science grade seven, module one. I am teacher April of JV for Y'all's National High School and I am here to help you in your topic for today. But before we start our lesson, please prepare your pen, paper, or notebook. Make sure that you are in a well-ventilated place, well-lighted, free from noise, and clutter so that you can write your answers and sit comfortably. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our topic for today is about scientific method. What is our objective? Our target is to describe the components of a scientific investigation. Let's get to know more the processes of scientific method. Let's go. Now, it's time for us to know what is scientific method. Again, what is scientific method? Scientific method is a series of processes for experimentation that is used to explore observations and answer questions. Again, what is scientific method? Can you please read it for me? Go! Great! Thank you so much for reading it. Now, I will give you some time to write it down. You can replay this video to take down notes. Okay? Very good. Remember, scientific method, series of processes that is used to explore observations, answer 
questions. Okay? Great. Now, let's move to our next slide. Let's go. It's time for us to observe. Let's observe the picture. What do you see in the picture? Great. Now, with your pen and your notebook or paper, write down three things that you can see in the picture. Go ahead. If you are finally done, let's try to review the things that we observe in the picture. Are you ready? If not, you can replay this video and go back until such time that you finish writing down three things. Okay? Great job! Now, let's talk about what do you see in the picture? Do you see a boy? Great! That is correct. How about a tree? Do you see a tree? Wonderful work! That is also correct. How about a kite? There you go. You got it. Nice work. Now, Let's read the title of the picture. Charlie Brown in the Park. Say, Great! Now who is the boy? Yes, that is correct. That is Charlie Brown. Hmm. Where is Charlie Brown? Yes, he is in the park. Very good. Let's try to know more. What is this picture all about in connection to scientific method? Hmm. Let's explore more. Let's go. Now we're back to this picture. Oh, look at Charlie Brown. Hmm. Let's try to have our first step of the scientific method. Get your pen and your notebook ready. Okay? Are you ready? Great. Now, let's try to have the first step. Ask a That is correct. By asking a question, of course, we will know what is the problem all about. But, of course, there is a rule. We need to follow six W's and one H. Do you know what is six W and one H? It's okay if not. If yes, well, that's really great. Okay. The six W's are what, when, where, why, who, which, and one H is how. These questions are very important as you try to learn what is the problem in the picture. In a scientific investigation, 
the first step is what? Great, I heard you. That's correct. Ask a question. Again, what is the first step in a scientific method? Very good. All right. Now let's try to ask questions based on the picture. Are you ready? Very good. Let's start. First question is, what do you see in the picture? This is what you answered earlier, right? Very good. It's a boy, tree, and a kite. Second question is when? When did it happen? Hmm. Can you write down your answer? Is it daytime or nighttime? Go. Great. The correct answer for this is daytime. Next, where did it happen? Where did it happen again? You can write it down. Go. Great job. That is in the park. Very good. Why is the boy sad? Yes, because his kite is stuck on top of the tree. Hmm. Oh, who is the boy again? Yes, he is Charlie Brown. Very good. Which option can help the boy? Hmm. Let's try to know more about that one later. Last question is, how will the boy get his kite? Hmm, that is really an important question. So, if you have the answers of the following questions, then let's proceed to the next page. Let's go. Now it's time for us to answer this question. Which of the following is a hot question? Hmm, what is hot? Hot means higher order thinking skills. In this way, we can be able to apply, analyze, synthesize, reason, comprehend, and evaluate the question. If it's a hot question, that means it's a higher order thinking skills question. Again, if you want to write this important note, you can replay this video and try to take down notes after this. Okay, great. Now, let's try to guess some questions in here. Letter A, how will Charlie have his kite? Letter B, what will Charlie do to have his kite? Letter C, which option can the boy have to get his kite? Now let's go back to the question. Which of the following is a hot question? Can you write down your answers? Go.
Are you done answering? Okay, great. Now, let's try to evaluate the answers. Which option can the boy have to get his kite? Do you think this is a hot question? Hmm. Probably. Letter B. What will Charlie do to have his kite? Hmm. Is that a hot question? Maybe not. Letter A. How will Charlie have his kite? Hmm. Close to. Close to the answer. Hmm. Let's try to know more about these questions. Let's go. Now let's try to answer. What is a good question? Of course, if you are going to solve a problem, you should know what is the problem. And to know what is the problem, you have to ask a good question. How do we know if it is a good question? Again, what is a good question? It should be a hot question. Hmm, one more time. What is hot again? Very good. You did great. That's higher order thinking skills. Now, let's move to the next one. A good question should have hots. And of course, a good question should be direct and short. When you say direct and short, it doesn't need to be very long for the audience or even you to understand. It should be easily understood by many. And of course, the question should be answerable. Not all questions made are answerable. It should be direct and short and answerable. And most importantly, it has a hot question. Okay? Great. Now, which of the three questions earlier is a hot question? Do you have your answers with you? Mm hmm. Let's try to know more. What is the correct answer? Ta da! The correct answer is How will Charlie have his Skype? Because in this question, the word how is a hot question. And this question is direct and short. Why? Because how refers to the action of how will Charlie do it. And it is answerable by not yes or no. But it is answerable by the question how. And this is very important. Now, do you get it? Can you make now what is a good question? Very good. Now, let's move to the next slide. Let's go. Now we're done with number one. The first step of scientific method is what? Very good. Ask a question. Now, what do you think is the second step of a scientific method? Any guess? It's all right if you don't have, but if you have, well, that's a good idea. The second step for scientific method is do a background research. Say again. Mm 
Very good. Thank you for reading. Now, how do we do a background research? And what is background research? Remember the question earlier? How will Charlie have his kite? Can you please read it again? Very good. Now, in order for us to answer the question, how will Charlie have his kite? We need to do a background research, meaning we need to find ways in order to answer this question. Now, using your pen, notebook, or paper, let's try to write down your ideas on how will Charlie have his kite. Are you ready? Go! There! Now, if you are finally done, let's try. First idea would probably be like, make a long ladder. Because if you want to reach the kite on top of the tree, well, probably you would make a long ladder. Letter B, you can also jump high. You might tell Charlie to jump high above so that he can reach the kite on top. Letter C. Make another kite. Well, this is another option that can Charlie do for him to solve his problem. Hmm, what do you think of the three ideas would be better and would be best? Let's try to find out more. Earlier, we already have options or background research about how to help Charlie solve his problem. Now this time, we will go on to our third step of the scientific method. The third step is construct a hypothesis. Please read. Great job. Hmm, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is an educated guess about how things work. It is an attempt to answer your question with an explanation that can be tested. Very good reading. Now, it's your turn to read. Go. Very good. Now, let's try to know more. Remember, what is hypothesis? Very good. It is an educated guess. Remember that. Okay? Great. Now let's move to our next slide. Now we already know how to make a background research. This time we are going to learn how to construct a hypothesis. What is a hypothesis again? Very good. It is an intelligent guess. Now, there is a good hypothesis. A good hypothesis allows you to then make a prediction by starting your sentence as, If I do this, then this will happen. 
This is just an example of a good hypothesis. Let's try from our background research. We have option A, make a long letter. How do we construct a hypothesis of this? Using this sentence. It will be, if I will make a letter, it will take time for me to do it. This is how it looks like. How about letter B? Jump high. If we are going to make a hypothesis of this, it would look like this. If I will jump high, I am too short to reach the kite. I might get hurt. This might happen. How about letter C? Make another kite. What will happen? If I will make another kite, I will be able to do it easily. This is the hypothesis of Charlie. Now, which of the following hypothesis will Charlie use? Let's try to find out. Let's go. Now it's time for us to answer. Let's answer. Ready your pen and your notebook again. Write the question. What is the best hypothesis of the problem? What do you think from the three choices earlier? Write down your answers. Go! All right, time is up. Now the correct answer is... ta -da! If I will make another kite, I will be able to do it easily. Hmm, this is interesting. It's getting even better. Do you have the correct answer? Great! If not, it's alright. You can try and try. Anyway, that is how scientific method is happening. You have to try, try, and try. Let's move to the next slide. Now it's time for us to reflect on our answer earlier. Our hypothesis is... Can you please read it for me? Go! Great! That is correct. Now, do you remember the question we have earlier? Please read. Excellent work. Now, hmm, is the question being answered from the hypothesis? How will Charlie have his kite? The answer, if I will make another kite, I will be able to do it easily. Is it answered? Yes. Very good. The question how is answered by make another kite. I will be able to do it easily. Let's try if Charlie can really make a kite. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's go! Now, we have finally done with our first, second, and third. But before we go to our fourth, let's try to review what is the first step. Great! What is the second step? Very good. What is the third step? 
Wonderful. And now we're finally on our fourth step of scientific method. This step is to test hypothesis by doing an experiment. Of course, you need to do an experiment for us to know if the hypothesis we chose hmm, can be answered by our experiment. And if it is true, let's try. We are going to test our experiment by making a kite. The step is we need to know if the procedure is working. We have two options, no and yes. Can Charlie do the making of guide? No or yes? There are two answers only for that. If yes, we analyze data and we draw conclusions. If no, we will troubleshoot the procedure and carefully check all steps and set up. Meaning, if we failed in the experiment, we will do it again so that we will finally analyze the, the data and draw conclusions. Okay? If you want this information, again, you can replay this video until you are done, or if not, pause the video so you can write and take down notes. All right? Great. Now let's go to our next slide. Now this time, we will continue our fifth step of the scientific method. After testing your hypothesis by doing an experiment, it's time for us to analyze your data and draw a conclusion. How do we analyze and how do we draw a conclusion? Of course, you have to understand that for you to make a kite, you have to consider some other things. Analyze your data. How do we analyze by making a kite? First, you need materials. Second, correct measurements. Third, height and speed of flying kite. Fourth, find the right balance. Now, do you get already how to analyze data? Yes, very good. Now let's try again. How do we analyze our data by flying a kite? What is the first thing? Yes. Next. Great. Uh-huh. Very good. Correct. And those are the important parts on how to fly a kite. Remember, these are all our data and how to analyze of flying a kite. You can make a research depending on what particular problem you are trying to solve. Okay? If you are confused on where to do it, then you go back again to step one. Okay? What is step one? Very good. Ask a question. This is step five. Analyze your data and draw a conclusion. Let's go. Now, let's continue on analyzing our data and drawing a conclusion. Do you see 
this table. Great, very good. Now, this table are what you call your data and your conclusion. Okay, how do we know if this is a data or a conclusion? Of course, a data can be a graph, table, or chart. It depends to what is being measured. By measuring how long, how far, how fast, that is your data. Your conclusion refers to the final answer. If it is successful or not. Now, let's try using your pen, notebook, or paper. Let's try to analyze and draw our conclusion. Are you ready? I know this will take time, but you can replay this video over and over. Okay? Now let's go to the parts. First table shows the parts of the kite. String, tail, the kite's width, and the kite's height. The measurements are as follows. 20 to 30 meters. 1 meter. 3 over 4 meter. 1 meter. This is all the measurement in making the kite. How about in flying the kite? The distance ran by Charlie is equivalent to 15 meters. The time span, 60 seconds. The height of the kite, 20 to 30 meters. Now, using your pen, notebook, or paper, write down what is the result of Charlie's experiment. Was it successful or not? Go! Now, do you have your answer to the question? If your answer is yes, then that is correct. But my question is, how did Charlie do it? Can you write down your answers? Go! There you go. Now, if you are not yet done and you're still finding a way to answer and you're still analyzing it, well, that's okay. You can still replay and pause this video. Now, to answer that question, Charlie is successful in making his experiment because he was able to measure the parts of the kite. And he was able to record the distance covered, the time, and the height of the kite as he was flying it. That is how you draw a conclusion. Okay, very good. Now let's move on. Now we're finally on our last portion of the step in the scientific method. The last step is communicate your results. Now Charlie was able to solve his problem about his kite. He was able to make another kite. This time we are going to communicate your results, meaning you are going to write down the things that you did and the things that you must avoid. 
what Charlie did was he wrote down his do's and don'ts. What is the first thing that Charlie did? Make your string longer. Of course, this is the opposite of what Charlie must avoid. Short string. Why do you think so? Do you have an answer for it? Yes, very good. That's correct. Another. Measure the length of tail and head of kite. Don't cut any length of the tail and head of kite. Why do you think it's important to measure? Very good. That is very important for us to have a balanced flying of the kite. Great job. Now, how about this? Run as fast as you can. Don't walking while flying the kite. Does it matter if you run fast or walk? Yes, it matters. Hmm, what will happen if you just walk while flying the kite? Great! That is a very nice answer. If you walk while flying the kite, your kite won't fly. It will just be on ground and it will not go up. But if you run as fast as you can, your kite will speed up in air. And this is how you communicate your results. You can also make sure that you share these results to other friends that you have, especially if you are all playing and enjoying your flying of kites. We're finally done with our step-by-step -step process of scientific method. This time, we are going to review our answers. Using your pen, paper, and notebook, prepare yourself. First question is, what is the first step of scientific method? Write down your answers in your notebook. Go! Very good! First question is, Ask a question. What is the second step of a scientific method? Great! Do background research. What is the third step? Very good! You construct a hypothesis. Again, what is a hypothesis? Excellent work! Now, what is the fourth step? Correct! You test the hypothesis with an experiment. And what if the experiment or the procedure is not working? Or working? Hmm. We have two options. Do you remember the options? What are the options? Very good. It's a no and a, or a yes. If it's a yes, we proceed to the fifth step. What is the fifth step? Correct. Analyze data and conclusions. In analyzing data and conclusions, our results will align to the hypothesis or not at all, or maybe partially. But after we analyze and draw conclusions, what is the last step of scientific method? Very good. We communicate results. And, of course, by communicating results, our experimental data becomes our background research for new or future projects. Ask new question, form new hypothesis, 
and experiment again. You can do the whole process over and over. But if it is a no, you troubleshoot your procedure and carefully check all the steps and set up. And if it's not working still, then you go back and the cycle continues. And this is the scientific method, the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. If you have further questions or clarifications, you can ask me directly, or you can also check out some other videos. Okay? What a wonderful work for today. I am happy that you finally reached this last slide. You did a great job. You did it. Very good. I am very happy for you. If you have further questions again and you don't know what to do, just try to replay this video. I am always willing to help you in any way I can. Mabuhay kayong mga estudyante ng JV for Yols National High School. Bye!
Hi, so welcome back to our channel. And that is the end of our module one, science seven, and four, grade seven as well. Hi, so welcome back to All our right, channel. so I hope that you also wanted to check out also some other videos that we have for today because we also have some other video teaching series on this channel. So I'll be putting some of those every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So I hope you can check it out. And of course, we also wanted to thank our uh, direct persons in charge for today. Let me just turn on the light for you. There you go. All right. So those are the modules that I'll be making. That is just a sample. And that is a teaching series that I'll be starting in this channel. So every Monday, Wednesday, it's on the link below, Friday and Saturday. So if you have further questions on what to do about it, then you can just try to contact or just message me via Facebook uh, Messenger or YouTube and Instagram. I also linked all of my um, pages below so you can check it out. And if you have further clarifications, I am um, I am always welcome for questions and I would gladly accept as well them if you have some. So thank you so much for today and I hope that you learned something. You can also comment down below for some other suggestions of teaching series videos. Thank you. Xie xie, zai tian. Bye.